who I might know, who I might not know. My name is the Creepy Three. Me and my friend Zoom and Geography are doing this series together. Except we don't have the same name, hopefully. But anyways, I shall provide you with three scary or sneaky stories. Please enjoy. Once upon a story one, house three, house three, thirteen, three thirty one. There are many back in the back in the back in the nineteens. There were many people. And they were up and modernizing and making new towns and improving the neighborhood. One of them, which I yet to forget. They built the first house, 331. But then, I may add, it was bought so fast by a gentleman. No one knows his name but only his closest friend. But yet, but yet, next month, a fire broke out. Flames were here, there, everywhere. The fire department came super fast after the earthquake, but the man didn't make it. Many years later, of the new house that was rebuilt, some children were playing until they thought they saw the man, a man. They, they heard of the old man. But now, if you ever see an old, an old, go to that house, you might see the exact old man. The old man. One look, but the next look, he's gone. Next story two, the gate of nowhere. Once upon a time, there was a woodcutter who lived in a field. He he was a talented woodcutter. He could build any toy out of wood. He had a son. His no one knows, not many people know his names, but his friends and his father. And so, so they, so on his, on the child's fifth birthday, he got a toy duck. It had a rope and it, and it had wheels. And you could fall, and you could bring it anywhere you wanted. But then, before school, but then many years later, at the age of eight, before school, he likes to take his duck on, out on a stroll, like a pet. But then, he saw, the child saw a gate, and thought it might stop, and didn't know where it was going to. But yet, it was getting, but yet, he had to go and get, and go to school. During recess, he told the bully of, of the school about the, the the gate, but they didn't believe him. Not even his classmates. They didn't believe him at all. But then, after school, they went to their his house and tested, played some games and toys for the wood carpenter. They soon decided to go play outside. And then they all found the gate. The bullies decided to play a trick on the child, and they threw the, the toy duck into the into the gate. Through the gate, the child was so angry you could see he stampeded like 
like a bull and made them and made the bullies give go and get the toy so they went in and and waited and waited and waited but they didn't come out so they went in themselves not the bullies with the duck lying on its side they decided to get ready to leave until they figured out there was no way out They looked here! They looked there! But no way they could find it. There is no way they couldn't find it at all. Anyways. Anyways. The room started to get smaller. The black duck room. And smaller and smaller. They tried, they found the gate, but it was too late. The gate was too small. The only thing that could get out was that one duck. From the, and after the word got out that the children of, of the little parents' children are, had disappeared, they hated the woodcutter and were sent away. But now, if you go to that fe exact field that everything happened, you might just see the duck. And it'll get closer and closer and closer until it's disappeared. Final story three. The, the mysterious noise. Once and once there was an, a, a hotel, and the cooks were master chefs, and they could cook any food you wanted. They could. And one of the chefs was a young trainee, but he was already super good. So anyways, he decided, he went over to the, you know. He went to the to the cafe to this to the kitchen until he heard a <coughs> from the cabinet. He rushed to the cabinet and opens all the door, but nothing was there. It was a mystery. The next day, he heard another noise, <coughs> but this time. It was quieter and shorter pitch. He ran to it and opened the doors. There was no sign of anything. He was he was getting punched to wash the dishes because he was too late making the food and fussing with that noise. But then on the on the third day, he he heard the It was high pitched and sounded quiet. So he rushed over to the cabinet, but and then he went inside the cabinet. He and the doors closed, and when next opened, he never came out. It was a mystery, and now no one knows what happened to the chef and the mouse and the. And that, and that cabinet what disappeared. And now if you ever go to the same hotel, you might see the cabinet right next to the chef. The, the end. I hope you enjoyed episode one of Creepy 3. The end. Goodbye.